both student manager Balaji Institute of International Business feel privileged to introduce to Mr. Sandeep Tyagi, Director Human Resource, Hire India is an MBA from FMS Delhi University. Prior to Hire, he has worked in companies like Bharti, Xerox, Delphi and Sony where he was heading the HR. He has vast experience of 22 years in areas of talent management, talent engagement and talent retention, which includes responsibilities like HR processes, systems, HR policies, compensation and benefit, change management, resourcing, employee engagement, management development, employee relations, administrations, etc. Now I would like to invite sir to the dice. Good morning everyone. Well, I want a louder response. It's a bright sunny Sunday morning. Good morning. That's wonderful. That's like, uh, you know, Balaji Institute. Uh, uh, respected uh, Colonel Bala, sir. He's uh, very elder to me. Uh, Colonel Sidhu. Uh, General Ajwani. Brigadier Mamani, Mr. Kadam, and uh, all my dear friends, the faculty of Balaji Institute, and dear students. It's a privilege for me to be attending the National HR Meet for the fourth successive year. And this is an event which I look forward as much as you do. I wait for this prestigious event and uh, I have had uh, numerous visits to your campus and now I feel part of this campus now. This event is very cherished by me and I am after Professor Gunit as to when the event will take place so that I get an opportunity to interact with the students and take some inspiration from our Colonel Balas sir. And most of the time I have got this privilege to start the day's proceeding which is again very energizing. Early morning is an excellent time to start and today was something special when we started with the national anthem. Probably I have sung this after a lot of years. So I am I'm deeply gratified uh, to all of you. Friends, today's uh, HR meet uh, topics of contemporary HR issues in business is something which is uh, very relevant to all of us. It not only impacts the HR fraternity but impacts students cutting across all the disciplines. It impacts the corporate executives like we, the entire management of the colleges, the students and common man everywhere. Because HR is not just limited to students of HR, HR human resources means anyone. Human resources is not uh, just the domain of HR, human resources means anybody who is a 
human being or anything which impacts a human person, human being. Anything. And the impact can be from any sources. So it's a very vast area. It's not just uh, limited to HR fraternity. And as I'm going to talk to you, you would see that HR is the backbone of any organization. HR is fundamental to the economy and HR is present everywhere. It's not only that HR is present in corporate environment. Wherever human beings are there, HR is there. And we need to take it up very seriously. Very, very seriously. Wherever I see companies being managed professionally, you see a very, very vibrant organization. And where this kind of a environment is lacking, you see a very run-of-the-mill kind of an organization where, you know, the progress is slow, the motivations are low. So, it signifies the importance of HR. Now, HR in today's business environment is something which is very critical to us. It impacts every one of us. And uh, today's scenario is something which is uh, not a very happy scenario. I'm talking about the national economy. I'm talking of international economy. And both are into a lot of turmoil right now. Fortunately, nationally we have started moving now. Internationally, we are still grappling with the problems. As you know, India now being going global, we are also impacted hugely by international economy. And we have turmoil in Europe in the form of Eurozone crisis. And American economy again is not doing so well and trying to pick up. All these things, they impact India quite a lot. And in India, we are still to recover from the uh, recession of 2008. And plus, the turmoil which is happening in the political scenario in other economic scams. So, the things are pretty difficult right now. Fortunately, we have, last one week, we have started moving in the right direction. This was long awaited. And what I was just discussing before the session, the impact of this will be seen at least after one year. Whatever changes you do now, the impact would be seen after one year. So it's not that immediately the, the money bags, the retail giants are hovering over Delhi airport and they are just waiting and land and uh, would from tomorrow would start setting up retail chains and employment generation would start booming. It's not possible. When India in 1991 was opening, 
there was again huge amount of criticism that mncs are coming and mncs will take over india and uh, you know we will go to colonial age now so somebody in parliament remarked that it is as if everybody thinks that uh, the foreign investors the multinationals are hovering over delhi airport and they would just come and uh, as soon as we liberalize and they would come and occupy us no it doesn't happens like this all business organizations whether it is indian companies or multinational companies are are business organizations and they are there for profits so if they see that the environment is suitable of doing business if environment is suitable to make profits it is only then they will come if they see because our past history has not been too good we have been hit by repeatedly by big scams and foreign investment investors confidence is quite shaken by what happened in the telecom scam and now the the coal scam so the investment confidence is quite shaken so it's not that from tomorrow onwards the retail giants will come and set up shops and all they going to watch as to in what direction are we stable are the policies going to last if they invest millions of dollars and one year later the policy changes then everything will be sunk like what it has sunk in the telecom scan companies have lost about these mncs like uninor and uh, systema and that it is lot have lost each one of them about 20 25000 crores so it's not a joke that companies are waiting and to lose money here they also have share investors and who are there to make profits there is huge pressure on the company's management so in these turbulent times india is facing lot of slow down basically companies are holding back their investment plans companies are holding their hiring plans but since india has a long way to go the penetration level in lot of industries are still very low so we have lot of potential and it is there that hr will play a very big role in terms of driving the organizations today in any good organization hr is not just a support function hr is a business partner in higher india hr not only supports the company it drives the company hr has such a paramount role of driving the change i will take you through how we drive the change how hr drives the business how hr is uh, a business partner and not just a support function in true sense of business hr plays a very important role in my company and that is why the importance of hr function is next only to the ceo of the company it is the second most important position in the company after the ceo because day in and day out you have to take decisions and this scenario is not only limited to my company in higher 
this if you see other consumer durable companies hr people are taking leading positions if you see lg electronics the head of hr is also now the ceo of the company where his primary responsibility is driving the sales and in my company in hire i have a very critical role in driving the business in driving the sales through hr interventions and hr interventions is not just recruitments hr interventions is much more than the recruitment of what we going to see now so friends today everything is dependent on employees on our customers customers both internal customers and external customers is not just the internal customers who drive the business it is the external customers also so for an organization to succeed both are very important and to drive these customers there is something called talent engagement engagement of people it may be engagement of employees it may be engagement of customers and engagement is not just limited to corporates engagement is present everywhere even when i am interacting with students in in the campuses i am doing sort of engagement with them and higher the engagement the better are the results so it's very important for all of us to understand as to how to increase this engagement when engagement levels are high when hr practices are better the results are very encouraging there was a study done couple of years back in singapore i was working those days for sony by this study was done by watson wyatt that as compared to companies where uh, hr practices are not so good the companies which have best hr practices also 80% of them have the better business results so it is very very critical to have good hr practices because they basically concern the employees they basically relate to people keeping these uh, hr practices in view we do lot of activities for talent engagement in the company and these talent activities are extremely important for us because it creates engagement with the employees now what is engagement and i basically have a sort of interactive sessions so although we are short of time but still i would like to know from maybe one or two students as to what they consider as engagement before i start so anybody would like to tell me what they consider as engagement they can raise their hand and just tell me just two of you maybe yeah so we have two people at the back uh, with your names please wonderful wonderful proactively involved when they have the involvement yeah yeah you i would like to offer consumer engagement where in the company proactively takes into consideration in various aspects of what the consumer has and
Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Loud claps for Bhushan and Arjun. Like Bhushan spoke about, you know, involvement of employees, Arijit spoke about customer engagement. Because customers are also part of us. If they don't exist, the business organization doesn't exist. So, that's a wonderful uh, thing that the understanding of engagement is very high in the group. That's a very uh, heartening to know that in understanding is very good. So now it will be easier for me to just run you through the presentation and show you briefly as to what we do. So your uh, topic is HR issues in contemporary business. My title is HR and strategy for comparative advantage, the one and the same thing. And basically comparative advantage is extremely important because that's what all the business organizations are fighting for. To start with the engagement, this part already we have covered in my discussion with you right now and with Bhushan and Arijit already explaining this part where job involvement has been referred by uh, Bhushan and customer engagement, customer participation refers to the emotional participation what is laid down so I, my job has been made easier by the group. So what are the drivers basically for this engagement? Drivers are all of us, we the people, our leadership, the managers, co-workers, our customers as mentioned by Arijit, the work activities, the resources, the processes, the opportunities of career advancement, of learning and development, the quality of work life, the rewards and company practices, people practices, which I will be just showing you, our policies and systems, the diversity, performance assessment systems and the image of the company. All these are the drivers of the thing called engagement. And what do we do for creating this engagement, which means involvement, customer engagement, emotional participations, working through commitment, the ownership, We do, to drive engagement, we have a very strong system of induction, orientation. When a new person joins our company, we have day one and the first week in the organization is the engagement. And formally, every month we have a very strong two days session with all the business heads, business vertical heads of the company to induct the people and show them what are the business verticals of the company, what is the business of the company, how it is done, so that during their working they are aware of how to move, how to work and they know the inside details of the organization. Communication. How do you communicate to people? Communicate 
function is extremely important and generally in organizations this is part of marketing department marketing communication but in higher this responsibility is given to HR human resources why it has been given to HR because in the organization anything which is happening with people is a thing happening with human resources human beings so anything which is happening with human beings has to be dealt by HR so HR is the fulcrum of the organization it comes to know what marketing department is doing what finance is doing what customer service is doing what logistics is doing what manufacturing department is doing HR comes to know everything because everything is being done by people and when people are there then HR is there so that is why the internal communication responsibility has been given to human resources and every month we publish an internal newsletter which is called higher news and in this all the activities of the company are mentioned both in India and internationally whatever new product launches are happening new awards being received by the organization all this forms part of this and any good work or not so good work everything is mentioned so that all rewards and recognition are mentioned anything to do with employees is part of this and the level of quality of newsletter is comparable to the work or even better than the work done by advertising agencies so there is a very high level of professionalism HR acts as journalist and we do a lot of work relating to editing news collation news collection and uh, lot of excitement and interest is there and this gives huge amount of power to the company uh, to HR when you can publish somebody's good work or some achievement and present it all this will be decided by HR it gives lot of power to you know how much power the journalists have today in if you would have seen in India in uh, in our media both the press and the electronic media they can rip anybody apart so similarly in my company HR has this power to comment to publish the things happening within the organization and outside the organization then we have this concept of smileys and we have two types of smileys generally I expect I question the students for what is the difference between these two colors of smileys but here time is short so I will spill the beans and basically we have two types of smileys one is the yellow color smiley and one is the pink color smileys these smileys are basically system of on the spot recognition we want to reward our people instant instantly because in higher what we believe is both reward and punishment should be instantly to be effective so this is a very innovative system of rewarding people which is very inexpensive 
and also motivates a person instantly and has been a very successful idea so much so that it has been adopted by higher group at its headquarters in China and they took these smileys which were printed because this is something which comes with no cost and gives instant recognition and instant uh, motivation to whosoever gets it. The yellow smiley is basically for uh, people who perform well within their own team and it is given by the immediate manager to people within their own team. And pink smiley is for people across the cross functionally. It's given by people when they feel happy or when they want to appreciate the good work of other departments. So when you get, everybody wants to reward their own people. But to be rewarded from other functions, other heads of the department, other team members, that is something a matter of extreme joy and greater recognition. So that is why we have two colors. Then employee suggestion scheme. This is basically, you would have noticed, some of you would have done your projects on this. It's part of manufacturing companies, uh, part of manufacturing plants. But here we have adopted this even in uh, head office, the sales and marketing company. So we have tried to make it as innovative as possible and there are rewards based on the cost innovation and uh, savings generated out of suggestions and ideas given by employees. Then we have monthly and quarterly system of town hall. Monthly we have our birthday celebrations and quarterly we have an M all employees meeting where all employees are basically uh, open to asking questions to all the HODs or the CEO and the company's business performance is outlined and this happens formally every quarter and uh, has generated a lot of transparency within the organization as employees are allowed to ask each other questions. Then twice a year we have family get-togethers because we feel the families of employees have a very large contribution in the performance of employees. When employees work day in and day out in the offices, they spend long hours working overnight in offices. It is due to the cooperation and the support provided by the families. Without that, it is not possible. So they bear the absence of their parents who are busy working in the organization and it is in recognition for the family members, the children, the, the husbands, the wives that we do family get togethers twice a year and uh, it generates a lot of engagement and motivation not only amongst employees but amongst the family members. Now, healthcare, this is something very critical. If we have fit and healthy employees, then it reduces absenteeism, it, re it increases the productivity, it increases the motivation. But in today's scenario where you are working long hours, this is something which is long desired. So instead of people not able to find time and visit hospitals or get themselves checked, we bring hospitals to the company. We bring medical doctors right to the doorsteps of employees and every quarter get them checked. And we have tied up with our insurance companies who bring the hospitals and provide basic checks to the employees right inside the office. Then we appreciate the loyalty of employees by their long service. I have been working here for last seven years and this is basically 
a scheme of giving higher products to the employees on three years completion, five years completion, seven years completion like this. Now high pot identification. In every organization there are fast trackers, the leaders, the would-be leaders. So we basically try to recognize these fast trackers in the organization and develop them to assume leadership positions. If suppose this is not done in the organization then every time the leadership position comes we will have to hire from outside. But since we have this system of high pot identification and management we develop internal leaders, people from within who take up leadership positions, who take up positions where they have to manage teams. So developing them is a very important task and this creates high amount of motivation and engagement within people because they see that they can become future leaders and for that their development planning has to be done. Then there is HR intranet site where anybody sitting in, we have people in remote locations, people working in places like Chhattisgarh, in Naxal prone areas, we have people in uh, northeast, in southern states, in north India, people in all remote locations. So when they have to submit their leave applications, their travel uh, requirements, their uh, they want to access the company policies or newsletters, everything is available on touch of a button. They just need to log into their uh, system and they can access any information, any forms, formats of the companies. And everybody is interconnected through data cards. So we are online in the company. So this provides real time uh, help from HR to all the employees. Now, when I discuss with you that HR has a very business role, so what I basically meant was productivity. This is the biggest KPI of anybody in HR to drive the productivity. For my KPIs forms 40% of my total KPIs to drive the productivity and productivity is linked to the sales of the company. So if sales are going up, I overachieve, I achieve my targets. If sales do not go up, then I lose my points, I lose my KPIs. So to achieve my this 40% you know out of 100% if 40% is just linked to sales then I am as good as a salesperson then as my sales head is. So I also drive all the HR systems and policies so that sales do not get affected. We have people in place everywhere, we have people who are trained and developed, we have people who are highly motivated and do not have any grudges. So all that I try to do and productivity is measured by a thing called PBC. PBC stands for Personal Business Commitment, a word taken from IBM. IBM is the global consulting partner for hire and this is the name given to the internal target sheet. And it has everything written down in detail, the KPIs, the long term, the short term goals of the company, of the individual, the resources provided by the company, the KPIs, the system of calculation of these KPIs and earlier we had a quarterly review system. Now we have gone down to monthly review system and everybody has their more than 30% of the salaries paid on this basis. Half of it is paid monthly, half of it is 
an activity which is done religiously and is very very important to us there is huge amount of pressure and motivation on employees to perform day in and day out then we have reward and recognition schemes basically which do not involve cash because that is taken by uh, taken care by the incentive system which i just showed you this is basically reward and recognition recognition so there we have team awards not just limited to individual because if there is a branch or it's a function which does well it is not due to individual performance but due to overall performance so today if india wins today's t20 match it will be due to the team effort not due to anybody's individual efforts yeah individually yuvraj singh plays better or somebody plays better but entire team will contribute only then a department can win